things welcome to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for taking the time joining in coming to see what's going on on this side of the camera i really do appreciate it of course if you are returning you know my heart i appreciate you and your time also happy tuesday i'm here with the beginning of my birthday garments. <laughs> so I have a video that has just posted right before this one where um, one of my garments, this capelet right here, I kind of took you a little bit through the sewing process, but now I want to just show you the whole garment. Now, the first thing I'll start off with is the top. I have made this top before. You've seen it probably in other videos. It's the Simplicity 3003. The first time I made it, I made this version, the turtleneck and this full flounce. This time I made it, um, it's not as cropped. It still has the long sleeve, the flounce is a little smaller, and it has the neckband. So, like I said, I had made it before, but I made it again, and I made it out of this knit. It's just a, it's a nice knit. You can see the flounce is kind of on the short side. It's just from here to here, but really, really nice. Love this. You know how I am about matching. So, love the way this coordinated has the neckband. I do see that surgeon thread, but it looks just like this. So it's just a top. I started to wear it so that I'll have it on so that you could see it. But that's the top that I made. Now I made it to go with Simplicity 3047. Simplicity 3047. This is what the back of it looks like. Now, if you've watched my video before this one, you already know the purple that I chose, but I, I made the pants. Now, the, the pants, I have them on. They are made out of a black ponte, and I use a size eight according to the measurements, um, the finished garment measurements. I made a size eight, and they are still pretty loose on me. Now, I used to cut my patterns between 12 and 14s. My last few garments, um, my weight has changed, so I've been cutting my patterns between 10 and 12. But I always read that finished garment measurement, and sometimes I take the tape measure and measure for myself because of the way the pattern may have been designed. So according to this finished garment measurement, I should have used the eight and I did. I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you could see um, the pants. They're just, they um, are wide leg. They have elastic in the waist, but they also have a zipper in the back. So let's just turn the camera around for a moment. I'm sorry, but this would be the better way to see them. So, elastic in the waist, and it's not very full. Zipper in the back, the full lap zipper. But can you see them? They are actually pretty nice. I wanted to make the full um, pattern. Now, this vest that I'm wearing, it's this is a, um, I did make this. And I don't know if I was on YouTube when I made this. So if I was, I will, um, I will post it in the description box for you to see. <laughs> I always got to go through that for you to see because I'm actually dressed for the day. So I made these, 
pants. It's a ponty knit. I love the pants. They look real nice with the shirt, just the shirt and the pants, and you'll see pictures of it. But I also made the jacket. Now, you're going to hear me. Wait a minute. You're going to hear me refer to it as a capelet because in my book, this is a capelet. It was not hard at all to make. And matter of fact, the directions for the pants and the capelet are on one page. But the nice thing about this capelet is um, this right here. That's the front and the back. So all you had to do was cut this piece twice. And then you had your collar, um, your collar and your facing. But no front and back. The shoulder seam, there's no shoulder seam. It's actually just the fold over. It says very easy. No, it doesn't. It says Jiffy. 1970s vintage Jiffy. And I have to admit, it was not a hard sew at all. A beginner really could work with this. But here is my capelet. I call it a capelet. I want you to be able to see the bottom also. Bear with me. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So this is what it looks like right here. Very nice. I use this purple boiled wool. And this boiled wool has a stretch in it. Just not a lot, but enough to be more kind of like a sweater but i also express several concerns about the stretch because when you have a fabric like this boiled wool and then it has a little stretch your garment can get distorted your fabric pieces can get distorted they can stretch so you have to be very careful i did serge all the pieces after I cut them out, that helps to keep it from st stretching. I did the stay stitching around the neck um, and stuff that helps it, you know, to keep it from stretching. But this is what she looks like. So this is the capelet. I call it a capelet because that's a cape. <laughs> now it has this belt on it because the pattern does have a belt. But this is what she looks like. You have the shawl collar, which was added on, so it does just roll over. And here's your cape-like sleeve, so just sewn under the arm. And this right here is turned under a quarter of an inch and top stitched. Of course, it's the same on the side. This um, pattern has one pocket. I don't really like the way you're seeing this. Give me one moment. I was trying not to cut my head off, but I want you to see the garment. So here's the one pocket right there. The pocket was um, the pocket was one piece. It was like a long piece, and you sewed a facing onto the back of it, and then rolled it over, and that's where you get this flap from is made into the pocket pocket was sewn on by hand and then top stitch but it's really nice turn it around so you can see the fullness of it here's that roll collar so the collar was attached here's that roll collar top stitch very very nice i have a pin here where the belt goes but the belt can pull it in for you like that and that's it so the only part pocket in this entire outfit is this one outside pocket because there are no pockets in the pants of course you could put some and of course there are no pockets in the shirt but it's really 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 cute i think i would make it again because in until it gets very cold I like a coat, but I don't like anything heavy. And if I wear a sweater, I don't like a lot of coat. So this is perfect for um, a sweater up underneath it, even a nice turtleneck. Then you get the warmth that you need on your arms from your sweater, but you still, you know, you still get just 
your chest area and so on covered up in the um in this capelet <laughs> they call it a jacket i call it a capelet but it's real real nice i love the way it came out um you could if you wanted to you could put a little hook here but it's made to be worn with the belt so that's exactly what i will be doing you just fold it up i love it there's nothing to it 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 took a little time for me to make it because I was kind of sharing the process in that other video. But Jiffy is correct. You could whip this up in an hour, hour and a half. And even if you sew slow, I would say two hours, two and a half hours max. And this is done, you know, yeah. It's not a whole lot to it. It doesn't look like very much on the mannequin, but when you see the pictures, you'll see that it's very nice. So I love the shirt, which I knew I would because I had made it before. I am actually loving these pants. I'm not going to take them in. I am going to make them again. And I wanna tell you, I made pretty healthy 5 8 inch seam um, allowance in in these pants because when I cut them I was like these still look quite full but they are the they fit nice in the hip area and then they just shape on out to this wide leg and I think it's really really nice I had said I wasn't gonna fool around with back zippers anymore especially like in dresses but i put the back zipper here it's just the lap zipper you know both sides fold over put that zipper there got that elastic in the waist and i am good to go so this is birthday outfit number one i have three more tuesdays just two more garments to show you but i am loving it so if you haven't watched the video that was just posted about this jacket, please go and do so. I don't do sew alongs, but I'm, I tried to add a little something, something different in uh, on that video for you to be able to see, because so you can see I am truly the one <laughs> making these garments. But I, I am just loving it. I do have pictures to show uh, once this part of the video is over, so. Hopefully you enjoy seeing it. Maybe it's something you want to make because this would be nice in um, a knit. You could use a knit fabric. This would be nice in a, um, like a boucle, which is real similar to the boiled wool. It would be nice in one of those furry like nubby type fur fabrics that you could buy. It's actually really, really cute and I'm satisfied with just the one pocket. So hit that like button, share my channel, subscribe if you will. And, but you know me, ring that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. So happy birthday month to me. I hope you enjoy the video where you can see this garment actually being made or worn. And I'll see you the next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.